So take yourself into Madrasana to begin, your knees and feet together, and we begin with some pranic manipulators, which are meant to uh, give you this kind of burst of energy, but also take you into a place where the energy is moving and manipulating different blockages within. So do your best to follow along. Take your hands to the outsides of your feet and just kind of tuck the hands underneath the toes, between the toes and the floor, and take the thumbs to the soles of the feet. Take a big inhale, fill your lungs, lift your chest, hold your full lungs, push the chest up and then pull up on your feet. See if you can get a little bit more of a lift in your chest, hold. Exhale, back to center. Take another inhale breath, fill your lungs. Get all the way full, lift the chest up, hold full, and you can start to lift the chin up, look up, and pull with the hands and the feet. Push the center of your chest up, hold the breath. Exhale, and bring it back to center. Inhale again. Get all the way full, lift the chest, push the arms straight, look up, and then at your full lung breath, pull up with your grip, Try to lift the chest one more. Feel the back muscles work for you. Exhale, bring it back to center. And then interlock your fingers in your lap. Take an inhale breath and take your interlocked fingers up over the head and press the palm side of your hands up. Push your hands away from your sits bones down and again, hold full lungs. See if you can just be aware of maybe the rise and fall of the energy. With your full held breath, really push up, push the hands, push the armpits long, and exhale, bring it back down. Again, inhale, go straight up to the ceiling, press the hands up, press the sits bones down, draw the belly back and hold full. Then exhale, bring your arms out to the side, arms parallel to the floor, flex at your wrist, fingers up. Take an inhale here. Go shoulders down and apart, push the palms away from each other, hold full lungs, and turn your head to the right, hold. Try not to lift the shoulder up off your back, keep pressing shoulders down, press the shoulders apart, hold. Exhale back to center. Inhale again. Shoulders down, push it apart, look left. Exhale back to center. And bring the arms down by your side. Turn your right palm out and then take your last three fingers, pinky, ring, and middle in and just leave your thumb and pointer out and reach your right arm out to the side so it's like an angle, 45 degree to off the body and then move your left ear towards your left shoulder but don't lift up your left shoulder. You can kind of lean on to the left hand and really press down and out with the right arm. And just let breath be fluid and spacious. Doesn't have to be held or manipulated. And let it feel long. And then maybe if you feel a little thread, maybe in the shoulder, the elbow, or the neck, and you want to kind of manipulate where your arm is facing, you can change that. And then switch, bring the head up, the right hand down. Same thing, left palm up. Take the last three fingers in, pointer and thumb out. Move from the left shoulder down, your left arm away from you, and move your right ear to your right shoulder. Push left arm down, left shoulder away from you, and kind of lean on to the right hand. Feel where maybe there's a little bit of congestion. Okay, if you're like me, that's working more than ever now, sitting in front of the screen. The neck and the shoulders have been a bit of a doozy. And kind of play with any ready little bit working into it rather than shying away from it. And then release it. Bring the hands down and move into a tabletop position. Shoulder width between the hands and hips width between the knees. Take a big inhale, push the hands down, cat cow your spine, tuck your hips underneath you and notice where the movement is coming from here. So really push pubic bone towards your face and then inhale, lift your chin and tilt the back, the sits bones of the pelvis up, lift your chest up and feel your back muscles contract a lot. Open the chest. 
Exhale, push down away from your hollow front belly up. Tuck your hips underneath you. Make your hips help you to create the round spine. And then tip in the other direction with the sits bones. Lift the chin, lower the belly. Find your back muscles, open up the front side. One more round, really push. Down with the hands, up with the chest. Hollow the front side, push the shins, hold. And go in the other direction, lift the tail, lift the chin, go all the way into a contracted back bend and back to center. Keep the hands planted, curl your toes under and push back into a downward facing dog. Press the heels down even if they don't reach for the floor, lift your sits bones up, press your hands flat and pull your belly in. Shift forward into a plank and turn so that your fingers point outside, your wrists point in and just shift right and left. Feel like the arms straight, you're just kind of using the pressure of your hands down to tip you right and tip you left or to just kind of get the movement from right side to left. And then go fingers back, wrists forward, best you can. Okay to lower the knees and just push with the toes, heels forward and pull with the toes, heels back. Shift forward and shift back, shift forward and shift back. And then go back to fingers forward and lift the hips back to a down dog and walk your feet up towards your hands. And just getting a little bit of movement in the hands, starting to get acquainted with those on the floor. We'll come back to that much later. Drop your head down. You can bend the knees, drop the head and use the hands and the heels. Just get a little bit of length and space in the back side. And get ready to do a little more active movement and just slow roll up to a stance. You can let the arms dangle, take your time with it, lift the shoulders up, back and down, and come to a standing position. At the short edge of your mat with your feet together, take a big inhale breath and reach your left leg back behind you, your arms way back. Lower your left toes down, keep your left heel high. Inhale, keep the hips down, lift the arms up, over the head, palms together. Press the palms in, away from hips down, big lift, stretch up, go back. Now, even if you're just staying, looking up towards your hands, and if you're outside, make sure it's at the hands because the ceiling makes you feel, or the sky feels like it feels like too far away or something. Just find your spot to focus, even if it's not way back, back bend and back to center. Straighten the legs, press the off the left foot and step the feet together, arms down. Take an inhale, reach the right leg way back behind you, bend the left leg, lower the toes, keep the heel high, inhale, swipe the arms forward, lift over the head. Reach from the armpit side, the pinky side up, look up and you can hold here or go back, find your back bend, draw inner thighs in, lift center of your chest, Keep action with the back toes, push a little forward, and hold your maximum. And come back to the top. Step feet together, arms down by your side, take a breath. And same technique, reach the left leg back, arms back. Bend the right, lower the back foot. Inhale, arms forward and up, press palms together, look up. Lift up and find a good up and over. It doesn't have to be to your maximum. And once you're at your good back bend where you feel like you're not losing the balance at all, see if you can slowly lower your left knee towards the floor. It's an evening class, so your body might feel a little more juicy. Just be careful with that. Lift the chest up, try not to exploit it. Go back, press elbows in and back. Push more with the right heel. Coil eyes back. Deep breathing. Inhale up, suck your belly back, lift the hips back slightly and bring your hands down to the inside of the right foot. Heel toe your right foot over to the right just a little bit. Lower arm to your left forearm. Let your left elbow line up with the front of the right foot. And then inhale your right arm up, look up. Bend your left knee, grab that foot from the pinky side and kick back. Open up the right chest, look back, and then at your maximum kick back, just drop your head off, off, like just drop your head off, just right to the ground. 
Let the space between the right shoulder and ear stretch. And then go back to center so that you're square, but keep holding your foot. And lift your hips up, pull your heel in towards your butt. And without losing the heel to hip connection, send your hips forward, let the front of the left thigh stretch. Try not to let the heel come away from the hip. Keep pushing in with the right hand, shift forward. Hold with a slow breath. And then lift the hip, release the foot. Bring the hands down. You can heel to the foot in. Lift the back knee. Inhale, straighten both legs, arms up. And then step that foot forward, arms down. Inhale, right side. Reach the right leg back. Lower the toes down. Inhale, swipe the arms forward and up. Look up. Hold here or go back. Draw inner thighs in. Press the elbows in. Let yourself coil back, but not to like some ridiculous back here. Keep the left chest up and then lower your right knee down. Slow and with control. Lift again, see that there's a little extra back, but don't lose the up, chest up. Draw the right knee in towards the left heel. And back to the top. Come to the center. Pull your belly in, shift the hips back a little bit to bring your hands down to the inside of your left foot. Heel toe your left foot over to the left. And then lower down best you can onto your forearms. Bend your right knee, reach the left arm up. Grab for your foot from the pinky side. Kick back, let the left chest open. Look left and then start to just hang the head off with control towards the floor. You don't have to, you know, it, but think of like ripe fruit. Just like, wow, off of the tree. That's a little better. All right, parallel your chest to the floor. Lift your hips up, bring your right hand back down, pull your heel in towards your butt, and shift forward as much as you can without losing your heel to hip contact. And lift your hips up, release the grip, frame the foot, heel toe the left foot back forward, straighten both legs, inhale, lift back up, arms up, and close it up, feet together, arms down. Last lunge series, go hands to hips position. Inhale, lift the chest up, step your left leg way back, bend your right knee, lower down. Take the front of your hips and lift up. So where your fingers are grabbing, make sure that's the space that's lifted. Okay, try not to tilt the pelvis forward so you're really hanging on the right hip. Keep it high, pull your belly in, and bend your knee a little bit. See if you can lift the front of the hips a little more. Then try straighten the back knee again and hold. Take a big, slow breath. And then with the front of the right hip sucking back, take your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Left palm, face it out. And then slide your left arm down the outside of your right leg and reach your palm towards the floor, but go fingers pointing back instead of forward. Try to get your hand flat, and if that doesn't happen, just leave the palm facing out. It doesn't have to touch the floor. You don't, you know, reach enlightenment or something. With your left hand down, reach your right arm back behind you. Look towards your right hand. And then take your right hand towards the floor, palm towards you, in front of you, and open the right armpit. Okay, for a Pranivrita Parasvakanasana variation. Push the left heel away from your right fingers and smell your armpit more so you're not back bending your neck. And look down. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Lift back to hold your hips position. Pull the belly back. And then bring the hands down. Your square for down dog. Step back. Go feet flat. Push the hands. Take an inhale and an exhale here just at your pace. And then lift your right knee in towards your chest. Send your right leg over to your left. And flex your right ankle. 
You're making like 90 degree angle with the legs. Squeeze your left inner thigh towards your right. Lower your hips down, push your hands down and lift your chest up. Keep pushing extra with the right hand so that you're not taking your right hip way over to the left, even though it wants to go there. Really draw left inner thigh in and hips down. And step back to down dog. Push hands down, look forward and step the right leg forward. Grab your hips, lift your chest. Step the feet together, keep hold, hands to hips. Inhale, send the right leg way back. Again, focus on where your hips are pointing. Take the front of your hips, especially the left one, and scoop it up. Let the right knee bend as it needs to to keep your hips up and down. Keep the space at the front of the left hip and try to strain the back leg as much as you can, but don't take the hips with it. Keep the front finger side of your hold high. Suck your belly up. And then take your right arm to the outside of your left leg, palm facing out, and slide your right hand down the outside of your front leg till it reaches towards the floor and go fingers back, palm down. Reach your left arm straight back behind you, look towards it. See if now you can keep the back leg strong. And then send the left hand down over the face and then go chin, armpit, eyes, hand. Keep pushing, front foot down, right hand flat, and just bring awareness back to the front of that left hip and suck it up. And then swipe the arm back behind you, look down for balance, and inhale up again, grab the hips, square it up, pull your belly back, bring your hands down and step back to a down dog. Take an inhale breath, your full exhale breath. And then shift forward to plank, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Take your left leg over to your right. Make it reach straight out so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat. Flex your left foot and then send your hips down. Same time, really close right inner thigh in. Lower the hips down and lift the chest. Get some space over the left side. Keep pushing, especially with the left hand. And just kind of like marvel in the discomfort. Ooh, or the sensation, I don't know what it feels good like for you. And then lift the hips up, send the left leg back, take a breath, and look forward. Left leg forward, lift the body up, grab the hips, and step feet together, arms down by your side. Breathe through the nose. Okay, let's do a little moon series. Face the uh, long edge of your mat with your feet together. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Draw the seam of the legs in, pull your lower belly back, big lift, stretch up, bend your body to the right, without bending the arms or legs. Draw inner ankles in, pull low belly back, lift your chin, push left heel away from left ribs up. Squeeze your hands, come down one more. Inhale up, lift, stretch up, go left, draw the legs in, pull below your belly back, lift your chin, squeeze your hands. Find from right side, top to bottom, stretching. Focus on the right heel, push a little more. Push right heel down, right ribs up, lift the chest, come down. Inhale up. Backward bending, take a deep breath, full lungs. Go head back as far as you can, look way back. Inhale, reach, arms up. Coil, arms back, head back. Get up and over the most flexible part or the most resistant or maybe a part of the back that hurts. So you always look for the up and the over. Let your inhale stay in your chest rather than your belly. Squeeze your hands, keep looking for something new. Press the heels away from your chest. Inhale up, suck your belly back, get a lift. Bend at your hips, come down. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind. You can step on the fingers, shift the weight forward, push toes away from hips. Up. Pull your spine down, draw your arms in. Draw inner thighs in, push the toes away from the sits bones up. Try to make your spine as long as your legs, push the top of your head towards your feet. 
Inhale. Come up, arms and head together. Open your feet apart. Arms curl to the floor. Take about three feet. Uttita Trigonasana. Turn your right toes out. Send your right hip left. Reach for the right big toe. If you can't hold it, hold on to the shin or the ankle. Look up your left arm. Pull up with the right grip. Push down with your right toes. And pull your belly in so much that you kind of shift your hips more forward. Inhale up. Turn your right toes in, hips forward. Other side, left toes out. Send left hip right. Reach over to the left side. Whatever you're holding with the left hand, look up. Make sure that you're pulling up instead of sinking into it. So if you're holding onto an ankle, make it feel like you pull the skin up. Push the left foot down. Use the grip drawing up so you're not sinking. And just take your right hip now that you're in it and send it more to the left so you're not hanging out in the back of your left knee. Inhale up. Turn your left toes in. Turn your right toes out. Try to revolve it. Take your right arm back, your left hand to the arch side for today. And take your right hand onto the hip crease of the right side and push back with the right hip. Make it feel like you're closing your crotch. Reach your right arm up. Look up, keep drawing the sits bones in. Keep your slow breath, just notice if it changes. And look down, inhale up. Turn right toes in, left toes out, same thing. Right hand to the arch side, reach back for the hip, draw it back, feel it move. Reach the left sit bone in towards the right, reach the left arm up, look up. Keep pushing off the floor with the right hand. Find space across your chest. Look down. Inhale, come up. Wide half moons, arms over the head, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Draw the seam of the legs in, even though your legs are apart. Pull your lower belly in, big lift, stretch up. Bend your body to the right. And now notice where your left hip wants to go and don't let it. Press your left hip down. Kind of draw your right hip up. Suck your lower belly in. Inhale up. Big lift, go left. Try to keep your hips parallel to the floor. Really make a huge side body stretch. Push right hip down, right ribs up. Push hands away from your head. Inhale up. Back bending, look up and back. Press the arms in, stretch up, and go back. Press inner thighs in, elbows in, coil from top to bottom back. Push your heels away from the center of your chest. Press your elbows in and over your face. Remember to just like kind of touch each part of your spine. So you're working down it, try not to skip any bit of it. Go one more back. Inhale up. Suck lower belly in, hips under, and bend forward. Bring your hands on around the big toes so you hold middle and index fingers. Lift your elbows up and go head down. Shift the weight forward, press your toes, lift your sits bones. Squeeze your thighs, try to get top of the head down. Lift your shoulders and your elbows. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, and inhale all the way up, arms out parallel to the floor. Heel toe your feet apart just a little bit more so you're like four feet of distance, and turn your right toes out. Take your right hand down, oh, bend your right knee. Take your right hand down to the outside of the right foot, and take your left arm over the face. Uttita Parasvatanasana. Same thing, that smell your armpit thing, and look towards the top hand but still here, kind of bring awareness to that right hip space and just suck it up like you're scooping it. That'll kind of pull the left hip down so you're not just sinking onto the right hip. And bring it back, inhale up. Turn your right toes in, push hips forward and arms back. Turn your left toes out and sit again. Take left hand down, reach the right arm over the head. Bring your chin in, look towards the hand. Scoop the space out of the front of the left hip crease so you're really sucking up from there. You're not just tilting and leaning and hanging. Stay active. 
and then you bring it back. Inhale up. Straighten the leg, turn your toes in, and feet together, arms down. Turn back to the short edge of your mat, feet together, and grab onto your hips to start. Take a big breath. Step your left leg back, uh, like two and a half, three feet. Square your hips up best you can, and really feel your back foot anchored. It should be on a slight angle. Draw the legs in, inhale, lift your arms up. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Push your back heel down, look up and lift. Coil, arms back and eyes back. And find your up with the chest. Bring your arms back, keep your grip. And try not to go for like some, you know, balls out back bending. Keep drawing your thighs in, lift your right heel up. And then pull your right foot in for asymmetrical back bending. So you're trying to use your left foot the most. Okay, and you can stay even just with the heel up and keep pushing left foot down. Otherwise, you can push so much that your right foot wants to lift up more. So keep sliding it closer in and in towards the left leg and eventually right foot to shin. You're on one leg back bending. That's how much push down you need to find the lift up. Really tight grip. And then step it back out, back to center. Suck your belly back, big lift. Step feet together, grab your hips, lift the chest, and same thing. So maybe you realize you took two big lifts up in the last one, you need a little smaller, okay, two and a half feet, something like that. Angle the back foot a little bit. Inhale, square the hips, lift the arms, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, get your lift. Look up towards the hands, press elbows in, lift again, arms up. Go up and back. And remember, go up, because you're gonna be on that one leg. All right, now, you stay your maximum, okay? Don't push it. Lift your left heel up. Okay, and then start drawing your left foot back towards your right. Keep the grip tight. Keep pushing right heel away from the chest up. Eventually, you take left foot in towards the right shin, and you can just keep moving it closer towards you. And wherever you're balanced, you really gotta keep planted. Right foot down, away from the chest up. Looking to find the opposite directions. And then step it back down. Back to center, suck your belly in, big lift. Grab your hips, step feet together. Arms down by your side. Okay, stand to bow. Looking good, so far so good. Keep it up. Shake your right hand out, palm up. Bring it out to the right and scoop up your foot from the inside of your ankle. Left arm up in front of you, bring your left arm back with your ear. Draw your knees in, suck your belly back. Now, I'm gonna be focusing on the front of the left hip, so just bear with me, it'll be different. Push your left foot down away from the left arm up. Push your right knee down from the right hip towards the floor. Take an inhale, lift again and push left arm forward and right leg straight back behind you. Try to open your arms apart at the exact same time in opposite directions. Keep your head on straight. Think, move my shoulders around my head still. Keep the head still, push shoulders apart. Now try not to just sink into the front of the left hip, so I'm actually gonna ask you to not come down all the way. For the sake of today, push your left foot down, lift the front of the right thigh, the more you lift the front of the right thigh, the more you can come down. But again, don't sink. Keep the front of the left hip lifted, shift a little more forward. And then focus on the top of the right hip and reach it back. If that doesn't mean anything to you, that's fine. And then kick one more hold for three, two, one. Inhale all the way up. Suck your belly back, feet together. So you can look at me for a second and then just like touch your body and figure out where things are. Okay, the standing leg, trying to not just crease here, so not just come down. You're trying to actually find a little lift. And then the kicking leg, okay, if I'm kicking this one, it's from the top of the hip, pressing back once you're in it. That's gonna help you from getting that really crunchy standing bow where you're pinching the side. You think reach back from the top of the hip joint, okay? Or the, top of the hip girdle, rather. Okay, so try it again, left side. Left hand out, scoop up your foot from the inside. Right arm up, reach it back. 
Push your left knee from the left hip, the top of the left hip joint down. Reach the right arm up, big inhale, and push. Left knee down, back and up. Push your shoulders apart. Keep your head straight. Just move the arms around your head. Open your chest in opposite directions. Push a lot with the right foot. Left thigh up. Press the back of the right chest forward. Push the front of your left chest back. Again, keep the head still. Focus at the front of the right hip. Make sure you're not just sinking there. Get a little lift. That'll shift you forward. From the front of your left hip, reach back. And push your left thigh up one more. Hold for three. Two. One. Inhale up. Feet together. Arms down. And breathe. If you got it, great. If you didn't, moving on. Half lotus your right leg. Lift your right leg up all the way. Grab around your foot from underneath with the left hand. Lower the right knee. Squeeze butt forward. Pull belly in. Lift the chest. Bring right hand up. Keep the right foot high. Left hand up if you can balance. Just try from the front of the body. Focus there. Suck it back. Push left foot away from the top of the head. Keep drawing inner thighs in. And release. Lift the right knee, lower down, feet together, left side. Lift the left leg up, half load as your left leg. Heel up high, let your left knee come down. Squeeze your butt forward, suck your belly back, push left knee away from the top of the head. Bring left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up if you can balance. Keep drawing in, push the right foot, lift up. Change it. Bring the feet together. Bend your knees a little bit and you can hold on to the front of the thighs. Lift your right leg up and figure for your right leg. So take your right ankle and put it on top of the left thigh, just above the knee close to you. Flex the right ankle and take just to start your hands on your right leg. So one's on the knee and one's on the foot and push away from it. Send your sits bones back and see if you can just notice which hip is maybe further behind you. Just try to get a good read on what's happening in the pelvic girdle space. And then inhale, lift your arms up. Keep looking down though, find your one point of focus. Push your hips down away from arms up. Leave your legs how they are, but bring your body parallel to the floor. And hold, keep pushing your hands away from your hips back. Suck your belly up. Keep the flex in the right ankle. Try and keep your right knee down. Inhale, lift all the way up, lift the right knee up, and lower the foot down, arms down. Left side, lift your left leg up, bend the right knee, and figure for the left side. Again, get that little prop up and play with the hips, just kind of feel out what's happening. Maybe, oh, this one's a little, a little more ready to go, or something like that. Hips down, flex the left foot, inhale, lift the arms. Press palms together, push hips away from arms up, suck your belly back. Keep the focus one point on the floor. Fold at your hips, come down, parallel to the floor. Hold, keep the arms up, stretch arms forward, send sits bones back, flex the left foot, press the left knee down without tipping over. Inhale up, lift the left knee, release it, arms down side. Bring your feet about hips with distance. Bend your knees, sit down, reach your arms in front of you, go to a little squat. You can let your toes go whatever way they need to. Just get long on the back side, reach the hands down, sink the hips down, drop the head down, and hang out. Take a few slow breaths. Just notice which part is maybe being a little resistant to the back side stretching. And inhale, lift your chest up. Lift your heels up, your hips up a little bit. Get a shoulder width between your hands. Bring your toes together and lift your heels up, crow. Bend your knees into your armpits, shift forward. I don't mind if your arms bend, make no thing today. Reach the elbows back, push your knees into the armpits, shift forward. And you can just take one heel up and then the other heel up, just play with it a little bit. Another way to shift forward and press the toes in and up. So really pressing in from the start with the feet. Make it feel like you suck your heels up to your butt and then you suck your butt up. Push hands down, 
like you're pushing the floor away from you, hollow the chest up, keep looking one spot. So really the goal is to be able to get comfortable in whatever shape you take. So if you hold it for a second, great, but try and stay there for a good sturdy amount of breath cycles. Just take it, give it one more or try it one more. And then lower down. Sit your butt down to the floor and bring the bottoms of your feet together, knees apart. Press the feet in, push your knees out. Hold on to your knees with your hands. And if your knees are really high, use your elbows. Press your hands down and push your knees up so you resist the press down. Push down with the hands, push up with your knees and push your heels together. Resist the press with the hands down, with your knees up. Hold it, keep resisting, knees up, hands down. And then relax the legs, push down and out with the hands. And do one more like that. Push down with the hands, up with the knees. Trying to trick your hip space into remembering how spacious it is. Keep pressing hands down, knees up. Relax the legs, push down with the hands. And lift the chest up, bring the bottoms of your feet down about hips width distance. Press your hands onto the outsides of your knees and push in with your hands and out with your knees. Lift the chest up. Resist the pushing with the knees pressing out. Good, keep going. And then relax the legs, press your knees together and just heel toe your feet apart. One, and then try it again. Hands in, push knees out, lift the chest up. Let the outsides of the hips turn on. Get wide across your chest. And then relax the legs, press your knees all the way together. Okay, and straighten the legs out. And just as loose as you can in the hips, turn your toes in and out, let it be Blah, 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 blah. Okay, think, let your flesh kind of wiggle off of you. And release it, bring feet together, hands back, or Vatamasana, inhale, lift your hips up. Open the front of the hips, head back. And lower down, fingers back, inhale, hips up, head back. Draw the ankles in, lift your butt up. Lower down. And then pull your feet in towards you. Come up onto the toes and go knees down. Make a V with your legs. And toe pads down. Stretch the bottoms of your feet. Namukhi Mudra. Cover your mouth, nose, eyes, and ears. And stop the breath. So follow along. Lower fingers over the mouth. Middle over the nose. Pointer over the eyes. Hold the breath, cover your ears. And release. Okay, line your belly. Go legs straight, arms down by your side. And just turn face the right, take a breath. Or two. And then look forward. Full breath. Bring your hands down next to your ribs. Bring your legs together to start. Draw your elbows in, close your armpits. Press the inner thighs in, push your hips down, draw the elbows back, shoulders back, inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest. Feel the neck like it's growing out from the center of your chest, lift up. Push underneath your neck, your throat up to the ceiling. Squeeze your elbows in and reach your elbows towards your hips. Hold it. Lower down, take an inhale here. And an exhale. And then open your legs hip width, hip width apart and push arms straight, inhale. Look forward, keep your chin parallel to the floor. Let your legs be soft. Okay, and just prop yourself up on your straight arms. Make it feel like your shoulders really move away from your ears, like you're growing the neck long. And then 
curl the toes down, push your heels back, lift your thighs, keep pushing off of your hands. And if the pubic bone lifts, just don't straighten your legs as much. Leave your hips anchored down. And then without reaching your chin to your chest, draw your chin to your throat so the back of the neck gets longer. Pull back with your hands, reach shoulders back, chest forward. And then look up towards the ceiling, get long, hold at the throat. Bend your knees, let the knees come down, touch the toes together. Reach your feet for your head and hold. Keep looking back, reach toes to head. And without losing this position, just lower your belly to the floor, meaning bend your arms and then hold for three. Keep reaching like you're chasing your head with your feet. Two, keep the belly down, chest up. One, and lower all the way down. Arms down, face the left, and take a couple breaths. There's always at least one screen that I get to see someone get attacked by it, an animal or two. Your chi mongers, your chi building. Okay, chin up. Prop yourself up on your forearms. Leave your right arm flat, then reach your left arm back. Grab your foot from the inside. Thumb up. Push down with your right arm so you're not sinking into the right shoulder. Push back with your left shin and look to the right. Leave your head where it is over to the right. Lift your thigh and slow breathe. Okay, and you're trying to be interested here, okay? The spaciousness is meant for you to kind of do a little research on your own. Lower the thigh, look forward, and then bend your arm. Push your foot, bottom of the foot to the floor, elbow up to the ceiling. Try to keep your thigh down and see, notice what's gripping maybe in the hip or the thigh and soften it, push your foot down. So eventually your fingers point the same direction as your toes, your left elbow up, let the front side stretch. And release it, other side. Left forearm down, lift your chest up, reach your right arm back, Grab your right foot from the inside. Push your shin back. Look left and hold. Be a little interested. Maybe notice, okay, there's a little change from those front uh, start of class, chest, neck, nerve flossing that we did. This doesn't feel so bad. So we start connecting some dots. Keep the head there, lift your thigh. Push the toes straight up. Keep the grip real tight but let your arm be more slack. Lower it down, look forward. Bend your elbow back, push your foot towards the floor, let your fingers point same direction as your toes. Right elbow up, push your foot down, push left forearm so you're not sinking. And release it. Bring the body down. Okay, Begasana. Reach your arms out to the side just to set up the arms properly and thumbs up like you're hitchhiking. Without turning your thumbs, keep them up. Reach back behind you, bend your knees and grab your feet from the inside. So you hold the heel of your hand to the arch. Bend your elbows back, pull your feet towards the floor. And you'll notice your hands kind of want to shift. Let them, fingers forward, same direction as your toes. Push your feet down, leave your thighs down. Lift your chest up. So upper body has to move. When the thighs stay down, you keep that anchored, you have to figure out how much can I bend my thoracic spine. Push center of your chest up and keep the chin parallel to the floor. Lift one more, peel the front of the ribs up. And lower down. Arms down, face the right, relax. Turn, face the left, breathe. And look forward, bring the hands down, push up, come to knees and feet together to start. Okay, stand up on your knees, get hips width distance between your knees and feet, Ustarasana. Bring hands to lower spine, fingers down. Inhale, lift your chest. 
push hips forward, reach elbows back, and then head back. Try and grab hands to your feet. Hold from the inside, thumbs up. Take the heels of the hands to the heels of the feet. Push your toes down, your shins down, lift your chest, look back. Try to breathe into the ribs up. Push the shins down, lift the chest again. And look back more, use your eyes. Close back. Inhale up. Bring knees and feet together, sit your hips down. Bring your hands onto the floor back by your feet. And try like Supta Vibrasana, go back, but keep knees and feet together. So first lower onto your hands, and then you're like, oh, that's enough, you stay there. Then lower onto your elbows, if that's enough, stay there. It's asking you to do a bigger back bend. Go head back, and then maybe you stay there. Otherwise, go top of the head down, back of the neck down, chin in. Get shoulders down and reach the arms over your head. Keep reaching the knees down, and if they open, just, it's fine. Keep the breath lifting the chest. Eyes open. And bring your hands down next to your ears like you're pushing up into wheel. Fingers towards your shoulders, elbows up. And then push just onto the top of the head. And if that's enough for you, just stay there and get out however you can. Otherwise, push hands down, shins down, push your butt up. And start to kind of hop your hands closer to your feet. Press down with the toenails, push down with the palms, push the center of your chest up, breathe into the rib cage high, keep looking back for the feet. And inhale, push hips forward, lift all the way up, suck your belly back, push your arms up, sit bones down, and then lower hips down, bring knees and feet together, keep the arms up, press elbows in, hold Ardha Lower the forehead down, pinkies down, push arms forward away from sits bones back. Draw arms in, knees in, take some slow breaths. And inhale, lift all the way up. And arms down by your side. Okay. If you have a wall accessible, this is the time to go find it. If you don't have a wall accessible, then um, you can use a friend. Okay, you can find a little gate. We're only going to be going up to about here on you, so it's okay if it's not a whole wall. All right. So watch me first. All right. I'm going to show you, and then I'll come watch you, so I can give you some pointers if you like them, and if you don't, just bubble yourself right now. So I like to use a little meditation cushion to put my knees on. You can just fold up your mat and bring that against the wall. Take your left knee down, close to the wall, but not totally against it, because your left foot is going to be flexed. So flex the left toes against the wall, leave the left knee about four inches maybe away from the wall, and bring the right foot forward slightly in front of the right knee. And then you push your butt against the wall, push your hands down, and send your hip, hi Katie, your hip towards the heel, and you hold here. We'll take three breaths in each position, and then you shift forward and let your hips move towards your front foot and inhale, lift up, reach for the wall, and go back. Okay, start to crawl down. And each time, again, you're trying to find your maximum to hold and breathe. You don't even have to crawl down. You can even just leave this position, all right? Okay, well, this, is, this is great, all right? But once you're at the wall, you take a step, push the arms straight, keep the chest lifted and even to the ceiling, take a step, and then eventually you'll start to kind of finger your toes toward, or your fingers towards the floor, and you reach the elbows up and press the forearms against the wall, okay? And you'll feel yourself kind of lift out of the front of the head, okay? Give you a side view, but the rest of this place isn't as cute as right here. So make sure, I'll talk you through it, 
you're finding stability in breath with the stability in the movement. So don't go past that point. So first start, wait for me. Take your left knee close to the wall, just about like four inches away. Closer, Frankie. <laughs> and flex your left foot so your toes touch against the wall. And with your right foot in front of you, bring your hands on top of the right knee. Eric, you guys got to share that wall. And then push with your hands and send your butt towards your heel. So pull your hips back. Come on, Frank, get back there. Sorry, I, I shouldn't spend this whole time just harassing Aaron Frank. Okay. Uh -huh. Send the hips back and just take three slow breaths there. Draw your belly back. Notice how maybe that front of the pelvis wants to tilt forward and don't let it. I know, Bruce, you gotta breathe. Okay, savor that stuff. Okay, send the hips back, suck the belly back. Try not to tilt. And then you get to send your hips forward towards the front leg. And just notice if you need to shimmy the right foot forward, it's actually okay with the back knee down if your knee goes over the toes, but you may need a little more space. And then with the hips forward towards the right foot, inhale, lift your arms up. Chris, I think your right foot forward a little more is gonna be easier for you, Chris H. Okay, press the arms in. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better. Press the elbows in, lift up and go back. And yeah, Jeff, I like that. Push the center of your chest up, reach for the wall. And point the fingers down the wall, open it up and start to crawl down a little bit. Nice, Cindy. That's, that's great. Okay, walk it down. Eventually that, that knee, Cindy, left side is gonna be closer to the wall, but I'll take this, I like what you're doing here. Okay. And then see if you can crawl one more and take three breaths. Cece, are you just enjoying the yoga show? <laughs> She's cursing me, okay. All right, and then come back to the top and do the same thing on the other side. Great, Renee, that's a great place to hang out. Work in the front of that thigh. Yeah, you're like, yeah, thanks, that was a lot. Okay, keep it up, that's great. Do the other side. Again, the bottom knee, really send it close to the wall and flex the foot left side to reach onto the wall, toe pads against the wall. And bring your hands onto the front right foot down onto the front right knee and push your butt back towards the wall and suck your lower belly in like you're trying to flatten your lower spine towards the wall. Push off of the arms, find a little lift at the front of the hip. Okay, this is gonna help us. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, wheel transitions, okay? So we want some space over the whole front side of the body. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get your good breaths there. And then inhale, send your hips forward, your arms up over your head, palms together. Lift up, look back. Press the elbows in and over the face, reach back. Try to back bend towards the wall behind you. Nice, Joanne. That's good. Keep trying to point your elbows up. And that's it, Joanne, you got it. And fingers down, you got it. And see if there's a couple crawls down. Hi, Nora. That looks like a nice snack you got there. <laughs> Walk my hands down, lift the chest up and let your hips come forward. Yeah, Roger. Okay, and then come back up and take a seat. All right, second one for the back bending, and then we'll go back to the mat, is with the knees down. I don't know if you can see past this tiny kitty in front of me. All right, you give yourself um, your toes up the wall just a little bit, okay? Let it be like, um, if you flex your feet against the wall, knees a little wider than hips width, you would just lift your toes up to the wall and then shimmy back about an inch, okay? And then inhale, same thing, lift up, okay? And some of you are gonna be different depending on your quad length. Don't make this the ideal. Again, wider than your hips width apart. Inhale, lift your arms up and go back, touch for the wall. And then try without opening your hands you go fingers down, 
Elbows up, thumbs to third eye, and try to shove yourself between the wall and your knees and reach the elbows up. Now, if that's super ridiculous, then go shins down to the floor, even toenails down, and just inhale, lift up, and go back. Okay, hands down. All right, so try, oh, let's try both. I'll talk you through it. Go tops of the feet down, knees wider than your hips, and inhale, lift your arms up over your head. Look up, lift the chest up, and coil back, reach for the wall. Once your hands touch the wall, open up so the fingers go down the wall. And you can stay here and breathe, or walk down a little step, and then hold, push your chest up. Now see if you can take one foot and lift it off the floor, bend your right knee foot to head, lower it down, bend your left knee foot to head, lower it down, careful over there, Karen. <laughs> They're vicious. All right, go one more chest up and then come up and then do that again or walk your bottoms of the feet to the wall, lift your feet up the wall about an inch and then walk your knees back an inch. Okay, so you start with your feet off the floor is what I'm saying. Flex your ankles, grab the wall with your toes and inhale, do what you just did or follow me. Lift your arms up, press your palms together, look up to the hands. Reach arms back, but leave the chest up. Touch the wall with your fingertips. Leave your prayer position. Try best you can. Bend your elbows up. Point your fingers down so it's like you're going thumbs to third eye. That's it. And then try push the fingers down. That's it. Keep pressing the toes against the wall, Aaron, and lengthen out of the front of the hips. Press elbows up. Press fingers down. And just look back and be there. And then inhale back up. And make your way back to a straight mat, lie down position, and take your feet down to the floor and just rest your knees together. Okay, someone have a question? Okay, let the knees rest in, the feet apart, take a few belly breaths to just calm the other side of the body and to calm maybe the energy that's freaking out. All right, it's common that these big back bends start to wake up the energy body and feel a little wild, all right? Which is fun, exciting. Okay, now if you're not into wheel, then you can just kind of flow through and go through a bridge and go through camel, okay? But see if you can follow along, you never know. All right, lower your uh, open your knees excuse me apart and bring your hands next to your ears fingers towards your shoulders take an inhale push your hands down and push up into a wheel press the hands away from your ribs up your belly up take one full breath and let the breath stretch across your chest and keep your hands pressing Take your left foot in towards your left hand, toe nails down. Push hands down, push the top of your left toes down, lengthen the front of your left thigh, and then see if you can start to lower or pull your foot in between your hands more so you're looking at it. And maybe you'll hold here or lower your left shin down, push your hands straight, and hold. So eventually left knee down, right leg bent. We're gonna do it again, so you can come in and out as you need. Push back off of the knee, straighten the right leg, straighten the left with the right. Look up and lower down, take a breath. And that that means we're not gonna do them all in one big lift. Okay, over time maybe it happens. Okay, now just for those of you that are like, my wrists hurt, which happens to lots of us, you can take your mat and roll it up so the heel of your hand is lifted on a little raised mat, but leave the fingers off so maybe the angle of your wrist isn't so great. Okay, try the other side. Hands next to your ears, fingers towards your shoulders. 
push your hands, push your feet. Draw the shoulder blades in and squeeze your butt up, push. Look for your hands, get wide across your chest. Draw your triceps in, it almost feels like you're kind of reaching the outsides of your arms towards the short edge of your mat out of this side. Keep drawing in, let there be a little space at the back. Then take your right leg, bend your right knee, and pull your foot right side towards your right hand, toenails down. And maybe it just bends a little bit, you just flip over the toes, that's great too. Take a breath there. And then pull your foot in more like it's going to go between the hands. Hold it there. And then try to get your right shin down, bend your left knee and hold. Push hands down, push right shin down, breathe through your nose. And then push back up, press the top of the foot down. Reach the right foot back to the left. And then look up, lower down. Arms down by your side. Let the knees knock together to get width across your sacrum and just take a belly breath. Not so bad. What's up, Matthew? Feeling good? <laughs> okay. Breathe in and out through the nose. Okay. Straighten your legs. Relax your arms down and just kind of um, shimmy right and left with the sacrum on the floor. Just so it like right, just like uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, get a little movement there and then relax it. And the best, most favorite part, feet together, arms over your head. Take a big inhale, sit up. Oh, the big grandma after the round back side. Sit up, okay. All right, we're gonna try a couple little things from the belly, back to the wall, back to the mat. So see if you can follow along from your tabletop. Take your right leg and bring it over to the right side, like we did from the down dog position, but keep your left knee down. And then lie down on your belly. So it feels like you're laying your belly over the right inner thigh, cause you are. And bring your right hand next to your chest like cobra right arm. And take your left hand over to your foot, grab the big toe side. After further investigation, Aaron Frank is going to give it a try. Draw your left inner thigh towards your right. And bring your chin forward. Keep drawing left inner thigh in, try to get your belly towards the floor. Keep hold onto your foot with your left hand and push with the right, so you're not really kind of jabbing, or jabbing your chest right side against the floor. Okay, and then bring the hands down. Push down with the left knee to pull the right leg back to the start. Take your child, or what is this, tabletop. And then take your left knee over to the right side, move the whole left leg over, flex the left foot, and slide your right leg back, lower onto the side of the left hip. And then reach over your left leg with your belly down. Try to make your belly button point towards the floor. Use your right leg. Really draw right inner thigh in so the right knee points down. And then cobra position, left arm, palm down, elbow up. Reach for the left foot with your right hand. And keep your chin out and breathe there. Keep the right leg active. Remember, inner thigh draw it in and reach your chin out a lot. And release it. Bring the hands down, push with the right knee, lift, create space, pull the left leg back. Lower onto the belly and open your arms out to the side. And bring again the right hand, one hand cobra arm, palm down, elbow up. Lift your right leg up and reach your right foot up to the ceiling and over to your left hand. The back bend and the spine twist, and then look for the hand and foot with your chin if you want a bigger spine twist. Look back. Don't try to move your arm to foot, try to move your foot to hand. Feel the back muscles doing the work. 
little QL action, maybe a little reorganization for some SI situations. And release it. Switch the hands, right arm out, left hand flat. You can savor it if you really like that one, that's fine. Lift the left leg, bend the foot up and over to the right hand. Reach the left knee back. If you want a bigger twist, look for the right hand. Head left ear towards the floor. Back onto the belly, bring the hands down, curl the toes under, and push all the way to a plank, suck your belly up, press your hands down, push your heels away from the top of the head, and press your hands out, like you're pushing the mat apart, tearing it in opposite directions, and then pull your hands back like you're trying to pull your mat towards your feet. Feel the whole front side of the body light up. Hold it, keep pushing back, pull belly in, pull pubic bone forward, try not to let your butt lift up. And then lower the knees down. All right, I like a good Pashasana assist. So, using the wall, again, this time you don't need a fancy pillow or anything. You just move yourself over to the wall and take a big squat down. So I'll talk you through it and then I'll come look at you. You sit your hips down and leave space for an arm between the wall and you. Reach right arm up and then the left arm, like a goal post, reaches for the wall. And you just try to slide the left elbow down. You can keep the left hand up and move it between the wall and your legs. And then at your maximum, you try to lower the heels down and look up. Okay? You do both sides. Find your little wall, get your little squat, reach the right arm up. Take the goal post with the opposite hand, left arm to the wall, and reach the elbow down between the leg, between the wall. Take the whole right side body or the bent arm side body, whatever side you're doing, towards the opposite leg. And then try to shift back, lower your heels down, but keep reaching up. Make your arm reach down towards your opposite hip so that your elbow is kind of sliding down your inside leg so your elbow is like super close to the floor, the bent one, and then open the chest, try to flatten your chest against the wall. Uh-huh. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just like boop, roll over like a little egg sometimes. Okay, and then look down, push the legs straight, lift it, and switch sides. Get out of there, do the other one. Okay, reach the right arm way up the wall. Goal post your left arm. Touch against the wall. Take your left elbow down towards the floor. Keep the left fingers reaching up and really try to get between the wall and your thigh. Push elbow down, look up. Push from the left shoulder down so you're not kind of hiking up the shoulder. You wanna take the chest with you. Press left chest to the wall. Try to parallel your chest to the wall and then sink the heels down towards the floor. Uh -huh. Yep, look up, sit one more. Okay. And then release it. Go back to your mat. Okay, it's your last hurrah position. Go back to your mat and sit down. We're gonna try Kundanyasana. So seat your butt down and first go into your side crow. So the same thing you just did. You take the opposite arm over. Go ahead, we can try it together. Move the outside of the right arm down the outside of the left leg. Try to get your whole body right side to reach onto the left thigh, and then bring your hands down shoulder width apart. Bend the elbows in, shift over. It's just a weight distribution. The biggest thing is do not lose your twist. Shift over onto your left side. You can come up onto the toes, get a little, a little confidence there, and then lift your heels up to the butt. Take a breath. And then straighten your left leg. That's the one that's sitting on the right arm. Straighten it out so it's in view. And then straighten your right leg back behind you so it's invisible behind you. Look for the left foot. 
Okay, try twice. Get your tiny little ball again, get your twist. Hands down, keep the tight position and just tip this little twisted shape onto the arms, elbows in. And then kick the legs apart, right leg back, left leg forward, look for the left foot. Okay, and you're really close to the floor, just boop your head down if you feel like you're, like you need to eject. Some people just explode, right? Don't do that. Okay, try the other side. Keep your hips down. Try to take the left arm over to the right side. Don't worry, Erin, we'll ice those later. Okay, eliminate the gap between your body and your leg. Mm -hmm. Really reach the left armpit down. The arms can bend. Reach a little further away from you, Karen, your hands a little more forward. Yeah, so you have something to tip onto, okay? And keep trying to get your knee more towards me so that your hands are more, yes, onto the side of the leg. There you go. All right, keep shifting over to the right. That's it, Bruce. Yep, keep the chin up. And then once you're in your little side crow, that's the idea, Matthew, then kick the top leg back the one that's on the arm forward. Try twice, all right? Give it another go. You might be able to get the twist a little better on the next one. Robert, I can't see you, but I can see a little bit of you. I like what you're doing over there. Okay, try it again. Nice, Marty. Keep the chest down, yep. Push length over the right leg, toes out. Okay. That's it, Ellen. Go head down towards the floor, feet in and up. Mm-hmm. Keep playing with that. You're not far from there. That's really good, okay? When you're done playing around, lie on your back. That was good, Becky. That was, that was good effort. I saw you. Okay. And then bring your hands under your butt so you get a little compression on your wrists. Press the back of the neck down, press your lower spine down and squeeze your legs together. Let your heels cover off the floor. Push your hands down, push the floor behind you like you're pushing your hands towards your feet. Back of the neck long, keep solid over the front body. Make the legs real tight, real tight and lower it down. Take an inhale, let the body be soft, exhale. Inhale, lift your legs up over your head. Go into a halasana, to cloud pose. Move your butt over your head, toe nails to the floor. And then support your lower spine for shoulder standing. Do the supported one to start. Push hands into the hips, lift the legs up to the ceiling. You can bend the knees to lift the legs high. And you can even sit your hips into your hands to start. Press the seam of the legs in and up. Squeeze your hips forward towards your head. And really push like shoulder heads, back of the neck down, behind your lower back, think up from the low ribs. And now if this feels really light, your body on your hands, then try unsupported shoulder stand. Reach the right arm up the side of your body. Left arm up. And make it feel like you plug the shoulders down, press the arms in, press back of the neck down, lift your legs up. Over time. You balance just on the shoulders. And if you're unsupported, go back, elbows down, hands to your back. Bend your knees to your head and lower the hands down. Slowly lower piece by piece your spine down and then straighten your legs. Push your elbows down, lift your chest up, back bend, open your throat. Take a big, full chest breath and slow. Exhale breath. And lower down. Straighten your arms and your legs. And we'll do a stillness together and a breath exercise together so you can close your eyes here. And I'll move you out of this position. So let the eyes be closed, the body be soft. Notice any sort of changes, whether that's in your mood, your attitude, or simply in how your body feels, maybe a little more loose, or, or not. Okay, 
just let yourself settle into the stillness. The eyes close softly. It's a big silence today. Take a big aware breath, inhale through the nose. And then open your mouth, exhale, relax a little more. And on your next inhale, roll over to the side or don't. Okay, we're just gonna slow make our way to a seat so you can do that however you like. And just let yourself transition out of Shavasana slowly. Okay, you don't have to make it a big routine. And wherever you land, just cross the legs and close your eyes and bring your hands on your knees. Take chin mudra, your pointer finger to thumb with your palms down on your knees. We'll do shitali breathing, just working to cool you down for your evening after a really heating practice. And some of you I know are transitioning into maybe yin or something a little softer, so together. Just bring the teeth together to touch and part the lips. The hissing breath, inhale through the teeth. Feel the cold air sucking in. Hold full, close the lips and just exhale through the nose. Try not to make it throaty with the exhale. Just let the air exit through the nose and open the lips again through the teeth, inhale. Pull the air in, close the lips, through the nose, just let it leave the body and settle with the exhale breath. Again, part the lips through the teeth, suck it in. And then close the lips through the nose, let it leave. Teeth together, last one through the teeth, suck it in. Close the lips and empty. And just take a normal breath, unaffected, let yourself settle in stillness. And take your hands together just to unite the sun, the moon side of the body and honor yourself with the heart at, with the heart center mudra, you just recognize your true self. And bow your head to connect with your higher consciousness. And bring your hands to the floor, just connecting with earth and the sound of Om and nature, that which connects us all. And you're always welcome to relax a little further if you need a little longer Shavasana. And I usually like to enter class with the Namaste and finish with the word for victory, which is. Jai.